y'all and good morning it is 9 40 ish <laughs> right now i've been up for a little while why it woke up hmm, his hair is looking beautiful it's okay real life Wyatt woke up at about 6.45 this morning. He slept pretty good last night. He woke up and ate at 12.30. And then we got a little visitor coming to say hello. He woke up at like 12.30 and ate and went back to sleep and then slept until about 4.30 and went back to sleep and then woke up at 6.45 and stayed awake for about three hours or so. He just has fallen back asleep. Mm. Say hello, honey bud. Mm. And so I just got my breast milk that I had in the refrigerator, put into bags, went to the freezer. I've actually got to organize that a little bit better today. So I've got some like gallon size bags. So I'm going to take the individual bags and try to organize them in. We'll do all that later. I think we're going to go ahead and run to Walmart because there's a few things that I want to get. So I think that's what we're going to do. <laughs> What I want to get at Walmart is there's kids everywhere is what there is. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Good morning. Um, I want to get a different passy to try with Wyatt to see if he'll take it. I'm not like trying to push a passy on him, but I've noticed I'm starting to suck his thumb a little bit. Right, right now, the passies that we have, he'll only take for like maybe a minute. The um, Sudies he does okay with for a little while. The Mams he does okay with for a little while. But we're going to get one that's got a little bit different shape. And just see what he thinks about that. At least right now while he's little. <laughs> Another kid. At least right now while he's little. I'm sure when he gets older he may take some different passies. Maybe. I, don't, I don't know. They're also different. Audrey didn't take a passy. The boys did. Audrey sucked her thumb and it was so hard <laughs> to get her to stop doing it's that. Yes, and that's why we have braces. So. Anyway, that's one thing I want to look for at Walmart. And then I think I want to look and see about a nail polish that I've heard some people talking about. Because these nails are needing some attention. And all the nail polish I have is getting pretty old. So, anyway, we might get some new nail polish. We'll see. Also, may get some different wipes to try with white. He's kind of sensitive when it comes to the baby wipes and we're still trying to find just the right one so <laughs> make it some more baby wipes too and I have all no makeup except for a little bit of stuff on my brows and some mascara because that's how we live in these days <laughs> all right let's go the amount of flies is ridiculous right now and every time we open the door to get in the car oh, they come in the car and then I have to fight to get them out. Oh. Everybody buckle up. Okay. Buckle up, buckle up, everybody buckle up. So this is the kind of person I am. I'm sitting here trying to talk myself out of buying me a dollar ninety-eight nail polish because I don't like to buy stuff for myself. That's a dollar ninety-eight cents. I just keep telling myself I don't need it, but I do want it, and it's okay to get something you want every once in a while. <laughs> oh me. sitting in the car haul for you show you show you what we got in Walmart so for wipes I got two different kinds to try out I got a three pack of the all good well at least the diapers are called all good this is all clean anyway these wipes right here to try they are fragrance free it says gentle on skin tough on mess messes I cannot talk today plant-based ingredients so I got a three pack of those and where's the other wipes? Audrey's back here handing me stuff. Also got a three pack of the Hello Bello. They're 99% water, hypoallergenic, plant-based plant cloth, tender and tough, 
So anyway, we're gonna give both of those a try. I have five of them. You did. We were I was like, where are these at? There was just a couple of packs left they're and they were pushed. The side, side you. Yeah, they were pushed all the way back. Anyway, he found them. So we're gonna try both of those out and see if maybe one of those works good for white. We also needed some more hand sanitizer to leave in the car and we got this scent theory you are very sweet they had two different scents one was a vanilla maybe and then this one the kids are needing some hand sanitizer so they're going to go ahead and use it what flavor, what how do you like how does it work Whoa, like that i guess you have to push kind of hard that it's like? a foam oh it smells good there you go I also went ahead and got me some nail polish. I got the LA Colors Gel. I've heard people say that this works really well. And I got the color, hmm, what is this color? Jazzy. Yeah. Jazzy is this color. And I also got just a rapid dry top coat to go on it. I think this was like a dollar, well I showed it in the store. Was it a dollar 98? And then I think this was 98 cents. And then we got some Nuck Passies. These are the ones that Easton used and did well with. So. We're gonna try them out, see what White like thinks them. of them. You did like them. We'll see what White thinks about them. We're at Wendy's and we're gonna grab some lunch. Huddy actually got, we all got drinks in Walmart and Huddy got popcorn chicken, but the rest of us are gonna get something at Wendy's. I thought I was doing good and that White was gonna nap the whole time we were gone. That didn't happen. <laughs> when we put him in his car seat, he woke up and he's been awake ever since and now he's ready to get home to eat and he needs a nap. So anyway, we're going to get us some lunch and go home. got home, got white fed, and then washed and sterilized those um, new passies. I showed that, and so far, he seems to like them. Don't want to jinx anything, but they seem to be working okay so far. We'll see. Only time will tell. Um, I also was able to paint my fingernails with that new fingernail polish. He hasn't been napping very good today, but he did nap long enough that I was able to paint my fingernails. So far, I'm really liking it. I really like this color. It went on really well. Obviously, I'll have to wear it for a while to see how it wears, and I'll let you know, but so far, so good. White spit up on my shirt, so I had to change it, and I wasn't, I, I matched it to my fingernails. I wasn't trying to do that, but I did, so look at me. Now, we're going to go ahead and pull all of the milk that's in the freezers out and put it in bags. So I'm going to get what I've got in my deep freeze, what I've got in my regular freezer, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep it in date order, and then um, I'm going to put it in gallon size bags just to organize it a little bit, make it a little bit easier to store. And just for clarity's sake, I showed when I put that milk in the freezer this morning, I put it in the door. I know that's not the best place to store it, but what I do is it's really easy to get it to fleece to freeze flat right there. So that's where I put it. And then once it's frozen, I move it. So anyway, we're gonna pull all that milk out and get it put in bags and then back in the freezer. I'm gonna do it kind of quick.
real quick, having a freezer stash is not necessary. Uh, maybe if you're going back to work or you're occasionally going to leave the baby with somebody and you want to have a little bit of milk in the freezer so that baby has something while you're gone, like that's one thing. And I've seen much, much larger stashes than this right here. And hopefully mine does continue to grow because, hey, there's nothing wrong with having it either. Um, but don't feel bad if you don't have this milk in the freezer and you're a breastfeeding mama. Um, if baby is fed, that's all that matters. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to put that out there. This is not to make you feel like you have to have milk in your freezer um, or a large amount of milk in your freezer. Like I said, I'm happy to have this and hopefully it does continue to grow and become a larger stash, but don't feel like you gotta have it. here's what we've got going on I need to go ahead and get this back in the freezer but these bags the motif bags fit this way a lot better and then the parents choice bags I had to turn up and down but either way we made it work and so what I did is I just labeled the first date and the last date that's in this bag and then how many ounces total I had started out freezing four ounces and I think most of these have four ounces in them. And then up here, I started doing five ounce bags. So there's, I fit a little bit more in here. So, and then this one isn't quite full yet. So I put the first date on here. And then once I get it full, I'll finish filling this one out. All right, right now they're just stuck in my deep freeze with everything else. But what I'm going to do is clean this out, move what I have in here over to one side and also clean off a shelf in my regular refrigerator freezer so that the bag I'm currently filling can be in that refrigerator. And I'm gonna set it up so that I can rotate them in here. They're gonna have a dedicated half of the freezer, at least for now, we may end up having to do something different and get a bigger space for them, but they're gonna have a dedicated half of the freezer and I'm just gonna set, situate it so I can rotate it and keep the oldest in the front. I still got to figure out all the logistics of that, but once it comes time to use it, I definitely won't be able to pull the oldest first. So anyway, for right now, they're just sitting in here. I needed to get them cold again. And like I said, I'll eventually get this freezer organized a little bit better so that I can get these on a good rotation. And a little funny, I've showed this before, but these are like almost six years old. <laughs> from Huddy. They were the few bags of breast milk that I ended up left over with him. I've thought about getting maybe some jewelry made or I don't know, but this stuff y'all, it's so hard to just like, oh, I'm just going to throw it out. Anyway, there's still three left in here from when I was breastfeeding Huddy. With him, I didn't have a very big stash at all. And I think that's one reason why it's so hard to get rid of anything. 
at the most I would have like maybe 10 bags in the freezer at a time so anyway thought I'd show you that it decided to come a down pour I wanted to grill chicken tonight so I guess I'll bake chicken no I mean I could move the grill but it's not um, grilling weather I think I'll just bake the chicken let me show you can you see it it's raining hard so yeah anyway I think I'm gonna go ahead and start thinking about getting supper stuff situated um, get that chicken out and I don't know what we're gonna put on it lemon pepper garlic I don't know <laughs> anyway I wanted to do barbecue I guess I could still do barbecue chicken in the oven we'll see we're gonna fix something for supper and I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Baby boy's over there grunting, making some noises. So I need to go see about him. We love you guys. We appreciate you. If you're new and you've made it this far, well, you're one of us now. So hit that subscribe button. Join our family. We'd love to have you stick around. We love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.